So I climbed out of bed to make this video because there's something that is just playing in my mind over and over and I thought maybe a good outlet would be to make a video about it. I started my first yoga intensive instructors course today and it was tough. <laughs> I did not expect that level of difficulty and initially it was a little deterring but after I came home and had a nap and had a little time to reflect on it I started to see it as an opportunity for an immense amount of growth and digging and yeah anyway I'll reflect on that in a later video the thing I want to reflect on now is toward the end of the class the instructors went around asking each of us to introduce ourselves and basically to share who we are. And for a moment, I sat there thinking, well, how the hell do I answer this question? Who are you? And I realized this can be a really simple question, but these days, with the level of depth that I've been digging to, it just wasn't. And I was like, okay, well, what do they want? My name, of course. Maybe where I'm from. What I do, maybe. How long I've been here. I had no idea where to begin. So I thought, let me hear what somebody else has to say. And I'll respond in a similar way. Turns out I was the first person <laughs> to go. So I said, my name is Simone. I live in Ulsan. I have two dogs. I moved to Korea about five and a half years ago. And I'm really glad to be here. And that was it. I, Because, I mean, who are you? Who are you? So, if, I, if my name is stripped away, does that mean I cease to exist? Or that that part of me doesn't exist anymore? I know I'm going really deep with this, but these are the thoughts that are running in my mind right now when I'm in bed. And I hope that after making this video, I'll be able to get some peace and sleep. Tomorrow's another morning, early morning. I mean, who are you? If, if a relationship with a boyfriend ceases to exist, I'm, I'm John's girlfriend that relationship ceases to exist, does that mean I cease to exist? I'm a master's student. If that ceases to exist, does that mean I cease to exist? And it was just, I couldn't sit there and say I'm love and light. <laughs> because I don't know who else has dug to these depths, has explored the side of themselves, and I'm like, this is a new environment. Let me enter slowly. <laughs> but I mean, that that's essentially what I wanted to say. I was like, I felt the love flowing out of me. I know there's a whole lot of love going on inside of me. I'm love. I must be love. I must be made of a whole lot of love. There was the light shining out of my forehead that I knew without a shadow of a doubt was inside me and outside me and was me. Do I say I'm light? No, I'm Samoan. I have two dogs. I live in Ulsan. <laughs> I moved to Korea five and a half years ago. It was the shallowest response I ever could have given. Because I knew it didn't really reflect me. It didn't reflect who I am. But I couldn't begin to start to unpack that if I start to unpack that, or if I even say it, I have to explain why I'm saying it. Uh, we did not have time to get into the why. <laughs> but it was just a really interesting moment. As we went around the circle, the others started to reflect on why they were there. And I mean, even if I reflected on why I was there, that would have taken a while because the reason I'm there is to dig deeper. I could have just said that, I guess. But it also kind of seemed 
like too much information in that moment. Who are you? I'm here to figure out what's beyond this perception of my reality, of the old way that I viewed my reality. I'm here to to dig beyond Simone, to dig beyond the master's candidate, to dig beyond Mark's daughter. I'm here to find out who I really am, what I really am, what my purpose in this incarnation is. I'm here to figure out if this is the only incarnation, if there's something more beyond this incarnation. I'm here to give myself the platform to dig deeper, to dig behind my ego more than I've been able to do in the past couple months. I'm here because I want to seek truth. How do I say that with a class of, I don't even know how many people we were, but it was the first time we were together and it was just not the right time. I don't know if there is a right time if it comes. I'll embrace it and I'll share. But until then, I'm Simone. I live in Ulsan. I have two dogs. And I came to Korea five and a half years ago. Thank you for having me here.